Alright, what's up guys? Today we are taking a look at the Cyberverse Dinobot Snarl. And I'm going to do eventually all of these Dinobots with hopefully a surprise at the end, but we'll see. First up is my favorite Dinobot, Snarl. Alright, so here we are. Here's this little Stegosaurus dude. He comes by himself. He's pretty cool. I like him, man. Not a whole lot of articulation in these guys, but they're still pretty fun. So, as far as Dino mode, like... There's the feet, goes like this, the head doesn't move, uh, goes like that. That can go out and you have a little bit of articulation there. Nothing in the tail really, and that's kind of it as far as dino mode. But there he is, there he is from the side, there he is from the top, there he is under. You can see he's just kind of folded up under there, but that's all right. He's still pretty fun. I really like him, but all right. So, let's get this guy transformed, and to do that, all you want to do is split apart the face. Getting these uh, other legs out of your way. So, fold that up like that. There you go. Hold the arm down, fold the face back. Then you're going to want to undo that. That'll give us the legs. Then, we're going to take this assembly... And we're going to come all the way off like this. This whole piece comes off. Probably see some people losing it in the future. I mean, stuff happens. Oh well. So that'll come down, fold like this. That will expose his sword. And you just slot the sword right in there all the way. And it will fit on in dinosaur mode. Which was pretty cool, honestly. I like how they did that. Alright, so there we go. Come up here. And all we do is unfold the arms like this. Oops, bring that down. Unfold the arms like this, and like that. And there's Snarl in his robot mode. And this little piece can plug into that little part on the back. And we'll give him his sword real quick. And you can have a slash action. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty neat. It's a pretty simple gimmick, but it's pretty fun. I like it. So articulation, he's got ball jointed shoulders, he's got a ball jointed elbow, sort of a double elbow because of the that joint right there. Uh, and this this is on a ball joint, so that that the arm can move individually. You don't have to like have this up to get his arm up. It, the, it does move on the ball joint individually, so that's pretty cool. We've got ball jointed hips, not a whole lot of range of motion, but still pretty fun. And we got a knee bend. So, I mean, not a lot of articulation. There's no upper thigh swivel. His head does, ooh, excuse me, swivel back and forth. So, not a whole lot of articulation on this guy, but, you know, enough. The standard. It's a cyberverse. What do you, you know. All right. So, there we go. And that is one Dinobot down. Let's take a look at some size comparisons real quick before we get out of here. So let's bring in Siege Hound. And yeah, these, these guys are fairly small compared to, to uh, the mainline guys that we're getting. So I mean, they're, they're deluxe size. They're a little smaller than deluxe size. So there's Hound. Let's bring in Optimus. And you know that scale isn't right, but there you go. There's Optimus Prime. And the last, just for fun, let's bring in Huffer. So they're roughly about mini-bot size. Uh, the new mini-bots or whatever, they're roughly about that size. So, but they are pretty fun. I like the Dinobots. I'm going to be getting all of the Cyberverse Dinobots, all of the mainline Dinobots. I just, I love them. They're cool. May as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.